so this is exercise 1.4 10 sum and this is similar to uh, example 1.19 so let's start with the sum so a seminar ho hall can hold 100 chairs and there are three different kinds of chairs so one is a red chair blue chair and green chair so the immediate assumption you can make is let x be the number of red chairs y be the number of blue chairs and z be the number of green chairs okay so the the very first line will give us the first equation number of so i'll use a common color the number of red chairs number of blue chairs and number of green chairs i mean yeah is equal to 100 that is the total number of chairs right so the number of red chairs blue chairs and green chairs the total number is 100 so the next statement reads cost of the red chair is 240 bucks cost of the blue chair is 260 bucks and cost of green chair is 300 bucks so if i have to write this into an equation i will say the cost of one red chair is 240 rupees right that's what it said therefore the cost of x red chairs will be 240 into x Similarly, the cost of Y blue chairs will be 260 into Y. Similarly, the cost of Z green chairs is 300 into Z. Okay. Now, if I buy so many such chairs with this cost, what will be the total cost that is given? It is 25,000. Now, this equation is quite big and it can further be simplified. So let us divide throughout by 20. So we will divide by 20. So what we get is, so basically you can even divide by 2 and cut off 1, 0 and throughout this equation. So you will get 12x plus 13y plus 15z equal to 1, 2, 5, 0. Okay. Let us mark this as the third equation. Okay, so basically I, in the second equation, I am dividing by 20. Alternate way is you divide by 2 throughout and cut 1, 0 throughout. Okay, or equivalent to dividing it by 20. Now, from 1 and 3, similar to example 1.19, we have 3 unknowns x, y and z, but we have only 2 equations, 1 and 3. So with 2 equations, it is very tough to find 3 unknowns. Okay. So what we are going to do is make an assumption that let z be equal to k. So we are making one of the variable a constant. So that we will have only two unknowns x and y which we can find out. So the first equation will become x plus y plus k equal to 100. Okay. Now from this equation I can write x plus y is equal to 100 minus k. Why am I doing this? Because all the unknowns on one side and the constants on the other side. Right? So this I will mark it as equation 4. Then the next equation is equation 3 I can write it as 12x plus 13y plus 15z equal to 1, 2, 5, 0. So likewise have the unknowns on one side so I am having x and y on one side I am sorry I made a mistake here this should be 15 k right z has become k is equal to now this equation will become 1 2 5 0 minus 15 k so let's mark this as equation 5 now what is the next step that's right, we have to find the determinant. Now we have only two equations, right? 4 and 5 with two unknowns, x and y. Because we made z, the third unknown, into a constant k. So with two equations, we can find two unknowns easily, x and y, with the determinant method. So let's quickly write the determinants. From equation 4, the coordinates of x and y is 1 and 1. Equation 5, the coordinates of x and y is 12 and 13. So now what do you have to do? This into this minus this into this which becomes 
13 minus 12 which is 1 so the determinant is 1 ok next step is to find del x del x we have to write only the constant in the y coordinate need not write the x coordinate to find del x right so from equation 4 it will be 100 minus k and what is the y coordinate here 1 and from equation 5 it will become 1 2 5 0 minus 15 k and the y coordinate here is 13 ok so can we further simplify this to simplify this it will become this into this minus this into this so it will become 13 into 100 minus k do not forget to put the brackets because even when you are doing the sum correctly because of a simple plus minus error your whole sum will go wrong so minus 1 into 1 2 5 0 minus 15 k ok so let us further you know, multiply this remove the brackets so 1300 minus 13 k so minus 1 into plus 1 2 5 0 is minus 1 2 5 0 and minus 1 into minus 15 k is plus 15 k so if you further simplify this 1300 minus 1 2 5 0 is plus 50 and minus 13 k and plus 15 k is plus 2 k so you should have got 2 k plus 50 right so this is your del x similarly can you find del y so for del y do not write the y coordinates but only the x coordinate and constant which is the x coordinate ok so let me take you to the sum so the x coordinate is 1 and 12 and the constant in these two equations is 100 minus k and 1 2 5 0 minus 15 k so this into this minus this into this so it becomes 1 into 1 2 5 0 minus 15 k this I will write it straight away ok put it inside the bracket minus 12 into 100 minus k so shall we expand this comes 1 2 5 0 minus 15 k minus 1200 plus 12 k and this becomes 1 2 5 0 minus 1200 is plus 50 and minus 15 k plus 12 k is minus 3 k so for del y for del y you should have got 50 minus 3k ok right till now it's clear ok so if we know del x and del y can we find out x and y yes x is nothing but del x by del we know that del was 1 we just found out that del was 1 so x is equal to directly we can write it as 50 plus 2k similarly y is equal to del y by y okay. which is I'm sorry del y by del which is 50 minus 3k and of course z was k based because we assume z to be k so can we write the solution set x comma y comma z as right 50 plus 2k fifty minus three k and k so this is my solution set okay now let's go back to the sum again this they say that find at least three different solutions right 
of the number of chairs in each color to be purchased. So they want at least three different solutions. So which means that we have to find out what could be the possible values of x, y and z. At least three different possible values. So one major thing here is that the total number of chairs is 100. So we know that the minimum and maximum number of chairs in each color has to be between 0 and 100 obviously. right? So k can only take the value between 0 and 100. Okay. Okay. K can take a value greater than or equal to 0 and lesser than or equal to 100 because we know very clearly that the minimum and maximum number of chairs in each color is can be only between 0 to 100 because it was the first statement of the sum. So I can write my solution set now as right. How can I write my solution set? Correct. X will now between be between 0 50 plus 2k 100 y will be between 0 50 minus 3k and 100 and z of course is going to be k which is going to be between 100 right this will be my solution set now if I take the second one here right I'll just put it in a rough column if I say that 50 T minus 3k okay is equal to say 100 all good okay I can say that sorry is equal to 0 right I can say 50 is equal to 3k therefore k is approximately equal to 50 divided by 3 this comes to the side it will become divided right so which is approximately around 16 point something so we can take it as just 16 alone right so I can say safely that k has to be a value b that is in between 0 and 16 right so what I do first is I know that k on a you no know, on a broader scale should be between 0 and 100 and then I write down the values of x, y and z based on you know uh, whatever we have found out and from that I am taking this y coordinate here 50 minus 3k and if 50 minus 3k is equated to 0 k can take a value between 16 uh, between 0 and 16 only because any value above that I will get a negative answer or it, it will become value greater than 100 why I am not taking this equation is 50 plus 2k is obviously I will get a negative answer so when I take a value between 0 and 16 I am very confident that I am going to get a number which is lesser than 100 and greater than 0 now if k has going to be between 0 and 16 to complete the sum we can take you know we can take value 0 1 and 2 for k if k is equal to 0 this solution set becomes okay so k is equal to 0 it becomes 50 comma 50 comma 0 that is there are 50 red chairs 50 uh, blue chairs and 0 green chairs and for k is equal to 1 I'll get right, 52 47 and 1 so you add all this you must get 100 it's another way to cross verify this is just a sample you can take any values but we are taking only 0 1 and 2 and if we take k is equal to 2 we are going to get 54 right 44 and 2 so for k is equal to 0 we get this for k equal to 1 we get this for k equal to 2 we get this so this sums up the answer ok so hope you have understood if there are any, any queries, just email me.